So the king searched for a new servant. Hearing this, a handsome horn player stepped in. He enjoyed playing it and was very good at it. The king was so glad he asked him to live in the palace. Furthermore, when I die, you shall inherit all that is mine. That night there was another dance. The handsome horn player asked Sweet to dance with him. I'd rather you dance with Sour. After all, no one pays her much attention. He saw Sour standing on her own, looking bored. The families realizing or caring that Sweet was trying to help her. Amy went home and told the story to her mother. We need to get rid of that sweet once and for all. Get your coat on. We're gonna go visit the witch. Back at the castle, the king... Well, he wasn't focusing. By accident, he fell downstairs to his death. We need your help, madam. My daughter Amy is jealous of sweet. This apple looks nice and juicy. Come on, just one bite. Fine, just one bite. <laughs> Suddenly, Sweet fell lifeless on the floor. Everyone was shocked and heartbroken to hear Sweet's death. Even the trombone player and servant was sad. Eddie began to play a sad note on his trombone. The servant joined in. Sarah covered her ears. Sarah decided to go break the spell. Give the gem! I'm trying my best. But I don't want to. Finally, she gave them a big shove. The gem fell and broke to smithereens. Sweet woke up as if nothing had happened. Two brothers began to play a happy tune for Sweet. Sour suddenly came in. I was jealous and I really wanted to harm you. The next day, the servant married Sweet and Sour married the trombone player. From now on, they would make a band every Sunday morning.